This conference will now be recorded. Hi everyone, welcome to AWS Data Engineer Training Program. And today's class is about Route 53. So Route 53 is another AWS service. And what is the use of this service? What are different type of uh, services available under Route 53 that we will be exploring in today's class? So let's start with the agenda. So the agenda for today's class is overview of Route 53 service, domain registration, hosted zones, DNS records. After that, we'll be talking about different type of routing policy that includes simple routing policy, geolocation routing policy, latency routing policy, weighted routing policy and failover routing policy. So Route 53 is not, not like uh, other services to provide a proper routing policy, proper, or you can say DNS name, hosted zones and domain registration. Now what these all these different terminology means, we will be exploring them in much more detail. So let's start with the first one overview. So Route 53 is highly available and scalable cloud domain name system. So whenever we access any website, suppose you are accessing gmail.com. So behind the gmail.com, definitely there is one IP address, but IP address is like 12 digit number, three digit dot, three digit dot, three digit dot, three digit. It's very difficult to remember that 12 digit number. And it's not only one website, right? If I am accessing like 10 websites a day, then remembering 10 IP addresses is very time, very difficult and very error prone thing. Just like in your mobile phone, you store your friend's number with their name because remembering the name is much more easier as compared to remembering their contact number. Whenever you want to talk to someone, you will search for their name and you will click on that and you can talk to them. But that name is only for your convenience. Ultimately, at the end, phone, your mobile phone needs a number to place the call. There is no purpose of name in that. Same thing is here. The gmail.com or google.com or netflix.com, that is only for our convenience. Behind the scene, there will be one IP address and that IP address is linked with that domain name. So DNS is like domain name system, which maintains the linking between your website's name, or you can say domain name and the corresponding IP address. Okay. You can see here, I have explained in like simple language. It helps translating names like www.example.com into the numeric IP address. It effectively connects user requests to AWS services like EC2 instances, load balancers or Amazon S3 buckets. As of now, every EC2 instance is having a unique IP address. But if I'm hosting a website on that, I would like to give a meaningful name to my website and that meaningful name, I need to link with the IP address of EC2 instance. So that part will be taken care by route 53 service and it can also route users to infrastructure outside of aws it's not only that only aws services will be used for route 53 it can even help you to redirect your request outside of aws maybe on premise servers so suppose we talk about banking clients banking clients may have few applications still running on premise that means they haven't migrated those services to the cloud. So suppose there is a DNS name, mysqlserver.com and that mysqlserver.com is pointing to the IP address on premise. That is not available in the cloud. That is physically located uh, within my company's premises. So Route 53 can help you to manage your AWS resources as well as outside of AWS. 
so this is very brief uh, introduction to route 53 how to use it how to link the ip addresses with the domain name all these things we will be exploring practically on my aws trial account so on this first slide in case you are having any doubt uh, you can ask me otherwise we'll be moving to the next slide so let me log in into my aws account and after that we'll be doing it So I have successfully logged in into my AWS console and I will search for route 53 now. So this is route 53 dashboard and you can register the domain as well from here. Suppose you're, you are launching one website on your EC2 instance and in order to provide a easy to remember name to your customers, you need to buy a domain first. So there are many other, you can say companies which provides the domain registration like one of the companies GoDaddy. GoDaddy is the very big company which is providing lot of domain registration and all. Similarly, you can even buy from AWS. AWS also provides the domain registration. So let's try that whether that website is available or not. So suppose you will type gmail.com. You cannot use that because that is already existing. You can see that gmail.com is not available. See other available domains below. You can see this one. Nine mail something something. That's not good, right? We'll find, we'll make something else. Suppose you are creating a website related to uh, cakes, right? So flying cakes dot com. Search. Even that's not available because that's a website. So we have to find something else. <coughs> So you can see this, I searched for puneflyingcakes.com and it is available, exact match. That means you don't have to go for .NET or there are many more type of domains, right? So you don't have to go for that. Whatever you are looking for is available and you have to pay this much, 13 US dollar per year. That is only for domain registration. This does not include your website, I mean, your application and everything, your application code, your server, all these things are separate. This is only for getting this domain. And this is like, not like permanent. It's like a, uh, you can say for limited time for one year, it will be allocated to you and you have to pay for it. After that, if you want to continue, you can further pay for it. And in case you want to, uh, you can say, leave it, you can do that. Then maybe someone else can also pick that website so it's like a rented rented service okay so this is just one example like how you can register your domains if you want you can do select and then proceed to checkout and you have to make the payment and then later on once this domain has been registered 
once your ec2 instance is running once your website or any other application is up and running then you can link your domain name with your ip address that can be done that we will be doing separately okay so any question on the domain registration Okay, so before we move ahead to the next slide, there are a few features listed here for Route 53. First one is reliable because this is managed by AWS. That means you don't have to worry about it. 54 edge locations supported by AWS SLA. That means whenever you are requesting the Route 53 service that I want to access this particular uh, website, then AWS Route 53 service will give you the response back they will tell you what are the ip address associated with the domain name so that service is very reliable very fast because there are 54 edge locations across the globe that means the domain request whenever you are asking like what is the ip address behind this domain that request is going to a particular location and that depends upon your geographical location so that you get the response immediately so they have 54 edge location across the globe and supported by AWS SLA. So they have some SLA like within uh, these this much time within like few seconds, they will be responding back and they are maintaining that SLA. This is very fast, fast propagation of changes across edge network. Suppose right now I'm adding one domain name and I'm linking that domain name with an IP address so that linking the association with with IP address and domain name that will be propagated to all edge location. That means if I'm adding from India, but if someone is trying to access that website from US, they will be able to access it because 